Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Helpful Lock Picker here. And the video I have for you today is going to be a package opening. I just got a pretty cool package in from Jason Carlson. And we're going to get this package opened up together in just a moment. Please stay tuned. I was speaking with Jason Carlson last week about some of the picks that he makes and I let him know that I really enjoy trying out people's picks and I'm really happy that he was willing to make and send some my way. In today's video what I'm hoping to do is get this package open. We can take a pretty close look at the picks but I hope to do a better review of them in another video. I just got this package in last night and I'm just really excited to get it open and I just wanted to share my initial impressions with you guys. So let's get this package open right now. So this is just going to be really exciting. I really do enjoy seeing people's work. Making custom lock picks is not an easy task. It takes a lot of time, a lot of skill, and I just really get excited to see uh, people that are willing to send their hard work over to me because it is just something that is truly incredible. I am opening up this package a little bit more difficult, the more difficult way, just because I have his address on the back here, and I don't think he'd want me to share that publicly. So we're gonna take a look and see what's inside. So I see possibly a challenge lock and maybe two picks, but let me get the rest of this package open here. Let's see, maybe three picks. And let's see. I think we have now cleared out the box and I feel like there is a little letter in here. So let me um, just proofread this letter quickly before I show it. All right, so this has an address on it. So maybe I can fold it in a way we can't read the information that may not want to be shared. So it says October 22nd, 2018. Doug, thank you for demonstrating some interest in my pick making skills. I tend to go to the extremes when I send out packages. I have included three picks. One is pink for breast cancer awareness month. Another is psychedelic laminated wood. And the last is rosewood. They are yours and you can choose with you can choose with them. I have also included some challenge locks. I have taken to naming my locks after the periodic table of elements. These locks are more fun than a challenge. I greatly appreciate this community and the positive support that all the members have provided me. In kind, I wish to share what I have with the rest of the community. Your channel has been one of the first that I sub to and it has been a great learning experience. Thank you for your skill and insight. And it's signed by Jason Carlson. So let's just take a quick look now and see what he was able to include in this awesome package. So I can see the three picks are likely here, but let's take a close look and see what we have for the locks. The first lock that I have is going to be called Rhenium. It looks like it's a Schleg lock. I see that it has a key right here. And it has some pretty decent bidding. It has two very long key pens followed by all short key pens, so that will prove to be a really nice challenge. And the key works without any difficulty at all. And it comes with this really cool breast cancer awareness. And now, looking over in the next pile, we have our second challenge lock which is a Schleg as well. No, it looks like a Yale actually. And this one is called Scandium. It was penned on December 21st, 2018. And this is his, let's see, number 32 lock. The previous one is his number 33 lock. So I got two made together. This one's 10, 2018. So I'm not sure how the 33rd lock was made before the other one. But let's see how the key works. It has some really nice bidding. It has some short key pens, long key pens, short key pens. And let's see how the key works. That works very, very well. So now we have gotten these challenge locks looked at. Let's take a quick look and see what these picks were that Jason Carlson was able to send out to me. I'm just very excited for these. 
I really enjoy checking out people's hard work. And if anyone ever wants to send me out a custom pick to check out, I would really appreciate it. I really do enjoy it a lot. I've had a lot of pleasure checking out some of Hank Fisher's picks, Daz Evers' picks, and I have done some from Briarberry Cove as well. And look at this handle. That's pretty cool. That is really is some interesting color pattern to it. I'm not sure how he did that, but that is really nice. This pick looks like a short hook. And I'll get the micrometer out in a few minutes here, and we'll take a quick look and see how thick the metal is. It looks like it's probably 25 thousandths, but let's see. And our next pick is going to be This is the breast cancer awareness pick, and that is really cool. It's a nice little bit of a steeper hook when you compare the two. Um, it is made out of plastic, I think, which is really cool. That's a really nice finish. That's really interesting. I'm not sure how people do all this. This is really cool. This one fits very well on the hands. You can really get a good grasp on it. Same thing with this one, and I like that you can rest it on your finger here. I tend to always rest on the shaft, and that can irritate the finger sometimes. One thing I do like about picks that I'm not necessarily seeing on these ones is sometimes just a longer um, shaft length. That way you can get into some longer locks like the best locks. But look at this one. This one has a huge handle. That is crazy. And this one has a steeper hook as well. Um, yeah, these are pretty cool. Really nicely finished wood. I'll try to get some close-ups of these for you as we are unboxing them so you can take a quick look at them. But let me get out my micrometer and let's just see what we can get for some thickness measurements. And let's see what we get. So let's, let's try out this one right here, which is reading... about 18 thousandths, 17 thousandths of an inch. This one's reading about 24 thousandths. And this one's reading about 20, let's see, about 25 thousandths of an inch as well. So I guess this one's just the one that's a little bit thinner. But Jason Carlson, really fantastic job. These are some really nice picks. Let me see if I can get a close-up of them right now. I'm just going to get the autofocus back on. We're going to zoom in a little bit and just take a close look. Let's see. has a really nice luster to the pick, and this is just a really nice looking pick. And then we have the breast cancer awareness pick. Let's look at that handle. Kind of almost looks like a flamingo. And then we got this one right here. Really cool looking pick. But Jason Carlson, thank you so much for sending these my way. I'm going to get a nice close-up of these. And I'm going to try out these challenge locks as well, but this was a really nice thought of you. I really appreciate that you are thinking of me and you wanted me to try out your picks. These are going to be really fun. They'll be really nice to add to the collection and I'm going to just try to try them out and see what I can get into some locks and try to do a more thorough overview of them and some separate videos. I'll try to do a video for each pick. But either way, guys, this is all I have for you today. This is just a fantastic package that I got from Jason Carlson. These are some custom picks that he made, and they're just really cool. I still cannot believe how well he was able to incorporate this plastic handle. This is just very smooth. It is very well held together. And this is just a really cool pick, and it's very comfortable in the hand. It does have a pretty steep hook, so you're going to need to find a lock that it is appropriate for. 
but it is made out of a nice strong 25,000 so that should be really great at getting open some locks. This one here is a little bit thinner at 18 thousandths and it has a really nice thick handle so it's something that you can hold easily. These may not fit in a everyday carry case very well but these will be really cool picks to use at home. And we got this one here that is made out of wood. Has a really, really cool finish on it. And it is just very comfortable in the hand. I think out of all the profiles, I like this one the best. It has a shorter shank height. It has a nice short hook to it. And I feel like this one's going to fit in a lot of different keyways. But either way, guys, just thank you so much for checking this out. This has just been a really cool package from Jason Carlson. Jason, I really, really appreciate it. If anyone wants to check out his channel, I'm going to put a link up on the top here so you can see it. But either way, guys, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day. And just thank you so much for checking this out.